Hello and welcome to Daily Bytes with your host Mr. Bytes and today I'll be doing a video on Revelation Online as you guys can see. The video will be based upon how to get Imperial Coins without cash shopping. So with that said let's have a look. There's a few ways which I made a list on so if my audio keeps changing a little bit it's because I turned my head to, to look at my list. <laughs> okay so we'll start with the simple ones. If you press C and go to order this is Demon Slayer. Once you reach 500, 850, and 1000, you get a box, which you then you click on here once you hit one of these targets. And inside that, you get gold and some PvE gems. The next one is rank, this is for PvP. Once you hit the goals, there's the points here, and that's the goal for each box. The second one and the third one give gold. The first one I don't believe does, so second one and third only. After that, there's a quest which is 120 quests called I think it's Handmade or Handcraft and it starts here. I've already took it. Du -du 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 -du. Yeah, Handmade, there you go. But you get from this NPC here. And what it does is every 40, 80, and 120, it has a chance to give you blueprints. Blueprints sell between. I think it's like. Let's quickly check because the price changes daily. Uh, da, 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 da. Handmade equipment, blueprints, such. So the cheapest ones are 9,000, and these ones are just ridiculous overpriced. And the level 60 ones are roughly around 500,000 <laughs> currently. So it's quite a good gold. If you're level 40, you only get level 40 to 49 blueprints. If you're level 50 to 59, you only get level 50 to 59 blueprints. If you're 60 plus, you get the 60 plus blueprints and you get more gold for it. Okay, next after that is farming materials from expert dungeons. So say for instance you're like me and you have completed your 40 set. You can then do Deserted Shrine freestyle mode and find the materials and sell them. So for instance, a bright jade, if I go to, hopefully I can just search bright jade. No, I can't. Okay, materials. I'm guessing it's raw material. Um, orange, <laughs> yellow. What the hell? It was like a bit. <laughs> okay, it's not that one. This one? Is that everywhere? No? Okay. Anyways, Bright Jays sell roughly around 50 to 70,000 right now. So if you go to Deserted Shrine, Free Star, you should get about 1 to 2 Bright Jades out of the 3 runs a week to sell. Okay, after that, on my list, I've got farming materials. If you go around the world, you should see trees and rocks and stuff like that if you farm those they sell for a little bit but it does add up so if you farm for about two hours you should make between a thousand to five thousand currency and then crafting items as well for instance you press v and go to the fourth tab go to weapon for instance well blacksmith click on billets these are used to make blueprint gear. They sell for roughly 5,000 for the lower ones up to 20,000 for the more higher ones. As weapons and armor. And armor's in this one. Yeah. Okay, so next after that. Some dungeons also give gold at the ends between 500 to 2000 based upon which dungeon it is. For instance, Grand Bolwark, which I said completely wrong, but it's this one. Grand Bolwark, Bolwark. Anyways, it can give gold at the end in hard slaughter and god modes, expert modes. And it gives between 500 to 2000 has a chance to give that low. And also when you go into dungeons there's a chance that a gremlin will spawn. The 
Gremlin gives you items and also between 2,000 to 3,000 currency. Wow, else is there? Oh, and also some mobs randomly give you gold. I got 12,000 last week <laughs> from killing mobs in the Four Kins. But yeah, any mob has a chance to give you between 3,000 to 12,000 based on your level. So the higher level you are, the more you're going to get from mobs if you're lucky. So the only ones that are not based on luck you're guaranteed to make gold is the Demon Slayer boxes. So again, press C there, these boxes here. Entertain it there. This box and this box. Um, what else is guaranteed? And blueprints, which is the quest here. Everywhere else is based upon chance. Other than the materials, farm materials also is based upon how much you farm <laughs> and how much you make. But yeah, other than that, that's the easiest way to make gold. Obviously, you can cash shop, but. Most people know how to do that, so I'm not paying the video on that. This is for people who want to make gold by playing the game. So anyways guys, if you find this video useful, feel free to like it. If you find this video pointless, press dislike. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. I make between two to three videos a week. And yeah, if you've got any comments, put them in the comments below, or PM me in game. I play on Snow Pine server. My name is Shrive, capital S. T R I F E. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So, peace out.